Hello, Smartest Artists, and welcome back to our second Friendship Bracelet of the Week video. Today, we are going to be working on the candy stripe. Now, what I really like about the candy stripe is that it's still the easy number four knot we learned in our first video when we did the spiral staircase bracelet. So the same knot as this bracelet, but instead of just... Um, repeating it one time. We are gonna use six strings and repeat it six times. So instead of the spiral, we're gonna get these rows of knots going across our bracelet. It almost reminds me a little bit of corn on the cob. All right, so let me show you how we are going to do the candy stripe. All right, so the first step is you're gonna need to get six strings. Personally, I just get three colors and three long strings and then just fold them in half. So that way I have six strings all together. Now I picked my Cheshire colors again, but you could pick whatever colors you'd like for your bracelet. You just want three different colors and then you wanna arrange them in an order. So mine is gonna go black, black, red, red, white, white. And then once you have in, in order, you can tie a knot on the top. Now I won't make it perfectly in order, but as close as you can get is fine, fine, fine. All right, uh, same as last time, I'm using yarn, but you can use any fiber you got kicking around in your house. Um, most friendship bracelet people tend to use embroidery floss for theirs. That makes a smaller, finer bracelet. I'm using yarn just so you can see it a little bit better on camera, but yarn bracelets don't come out terribly either. Um, and you wanna make it for a bracelet about as long, each string about as long from your tip of your finger all the way up to your shoulder. So here, it is ready to start our knots. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna be leaving the directions and the example bracelet right here so you can kind of check it out to see if you are on track. Otherwise, let us begin. All right, so you're gonna want your strings anchored into something. Like I said in the last video, you can safety pin it to your jeans. You can tape it down. That didn't work so well for me last time, so now I've got mine stuck into a clipboard. And then you wanna organize your strings in order. I like to go from darkest to lightest, but you can have them be in any order, it doesn't matter. Um, and then I'm going to just make sure they're not tangled and they are ready to go. All right, so the goal of the candy stripe is to move the first string all the way over to the end. You do that by making the number four knot we learned about last time. Now the number four knot goes like this. You make a number four. You reach through and you pull it to the top. Bada boom. Repeat. Make a number four, reach through, and pull it to the top. Now, the four knot, you're always using the same string to make the knot. So the same string is moving all the way across it. So make sure you don't lose that one. All right, so I'm done with the black, so I can move it over here, and I'm on to my first red. Gonna make the number four. Gonna reach through, and pull it tight and reach through, and pull it tight, and reach through, and pull it tight, reach through, and pull it tight. All right, so now I'm done with two reds and a black, making sure they stay over here, and I'm on to the white. Number four, reach through, pull it tight, reach through, pull it tight. And I'm on my last white. Through, pull it tight. So my black 
black string, which used to be right here, has now moved all the way across and is now in last position, making one stripe on my bracelet. Now the nice thing about friendship bracelets is that it repeats the pattern over and over and over and over and over again. So now that that black string's over here, I'm gonna take this black string and do the same thing to go all the way across. Now, remember from last video, you want to go twice on each string. So, one, two, then with that string. One, two, then with that string. One, two. Down that string. One, two. Down that string. And don't forget to get your um, last string in there as well. One, two. So now my string that used to be over here is now all the way to the end. Now another word for the number four knot is a forward knot still has the word four in it, but a different kind of four. And that is because when you make a forward knot, you move your string forward across the bracelet. So a forward knot goes across the bracelet like that. It's a little hard to see, but you can see two even rows of little tiny black knots. Um, if your knots look weird and they don't have nice stripes, you can kind of use your fingernail to push and manipulate them a little bit tighter and a little bit neater. But you do want your rows nice and tight and together, just like that. Right, so we have two rows done and now it's time to start with our next color, our red. So the process is exactly the same. You're making the number four knot two times around each string. Pull them tight. One, two, one, two. So now if we take a closer look at our friendship bracelet, we've got our two rows of black knots and our new red knots from this red string moving all the way across the bracelet to the last position. Now you can see the red knots are nestled up really close to the black knots, but if they're a little loose, you can always press them with your fingernail and get them in. All right, that's all you need to know for the candy stripe. You just repeat and repeat and repeat until it is long enough to fit onto your wrist or wherever you wanna put it, anklet, necklace, that is up to you. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed and stay safe out there.